cut the fluff, and do what really sticks with your audience. Stay tuned for this one. I know, I know, I know what you think is the best performance. Usually we think singing loud and high. That's awesome. And by the way, that's when we get the most applause and that's when we give the most applause. When I'm in an audience and some singer just sings loud and high, the last pitch and oh, belting it out, everybody claps. It doesn't matter if it was particularly awesome, but everybody just seems to be like, whoa, awesome, probably because it's a high energy moment that also just triggers a high energy response. However, I want to challenge you to really think a little bit deeper. I find that when those kind of performances happen that are high energy, but not really high quality, and while they, you know, the audience while it happens, is all raving and awesome and really finding it cool. When I go home from those kind of performances, it doesn't really stick because that flavor of not having been really deeply touched, but just kind of on the surface and by like hyped up, that doesn't really stick with me. And so I forget quickly and it doesn't really leave a lasting impression on me. However, what really does leave a lasting impression is the high quality. That doesn't always mean it has to be something very fancy and complex and really whatever, high, crazy and fast and ad-libs. No, on the contrary. I would rather hear an artist having high quality and doing less of the fancy stuff, meaning you, know, you don't have to go into whistle register, you don't have to sing extremely high belted notes if that is not your strength. I would rather have you sing somewhere that is really reflecting you and your personality where your beautiful timbre comes out or maybe your strength is not the beautiful timbre. Maybe your strength is actually telling a story and being rough edged. You know, maybe you, have, you don't have the perfect technique, but what you do well is actually telling a story. Arguably, there's a lot of famous singers who are not the greatest singers, but they're great artists. And that's what I wanna hear. That's what I really take home. That's what sticks. And I find that even when I perform, everybody comes up to me and you know, even on those pieces of music where it's loud and high, everybody applauds the most, but the comments I get most for is really for those songs that were so much deeper that where I really could connect that are really mean a lot to me personally, where I was really emotional and my essence could shine through. So my personality could actually shine through and you could hear what I'm really good at. For me, it's probably the nice soft, tender timbre and also the high head voice. That's what people love to hear in my voice. That's when people come up to me and say, I've never heard that song, but wow, what was that? I have got to know this was like amazing. So that's where I get the most positive comments for. So please cut the fluff if you have to and really focus on what you are really good at. It's not worth it because you want to deliver something that sticks with your audience. Check out my other channel, Find Your Voice, where it's more about mindset and me telling stories to help you believe in yourself and achieving your dreams to defy all the odds. Even if everybody said it can't be done, it totally can if you believe in yourself. The link is below. And until next time, I hope you will continue to sing all the time and see you soon. Bye.